77.1 kilos, new lowest weigh-in of this, that means I'm down 600 grams in a week, which is probably about to be water and stuff, but I'm feeling a lot leaner than I was at the start of last week, but I'm going to adjust the calories for this week just to play around, kind of up the protein a bit, drop the carbs, and increase the cardio sessions by 5 minutes, just to see what happens. I know you're probably thinking, why do you need to? I just want to see it, and there's stuff on my lens. Yep, let's do this. 7.1 kilos is a new low weigh-in. It's Monday, the uh, 11th of July. Eighth day of the cut. Down 0.6 kilos in a week. Off to the gym now to do faster cardio. Gonna play around with my calories this week. 2,900, gonna drop them by 100. Uh, I'm gonna up the protein and drop the carbs, just to see how my body reacts to it. And, uh, yeah, gonna add five minutes to each cardio session and I'm gonna try and do them all fast just to see how I end up by the end of the week. So, I'm gonna go to the gym now. Not gonna train. Now, gonna train tonight when Josh gets back from work. So we can train together. And just gonna go to the gym to do cardio now. So, I'll see you guys when I get back. Back from the gym now. I got a bio scan done. I hadn't eaten anything or anything, so I did fastest cardio, no water or anything, so it was an accurate scan. And I'm going to show you guys now, and you're going to be surprised what my body fat percentage is. As you can see up there, body fat percentage, 12.6%. Yeah. And there's my fat distribution. Muscle mass. As you can see, my left leg goes a little less. Arms are even. Basal metabolic rate is right there, 1,990. Yeah, and that's everything. Visceral fat rating, one. So I have very little visceral fat. And going to have a shower. Also, I'm now 180 centimeters, finally. It's been a few hours since I've talked to you, at least like six. I'm sorry, but I kind of suck at, you know, the whole vlogging through the day, to be honest. Sometimes I just, I don't know, just get distracted. Like, I was editing a video, trying to get more so to actually edit the clips, to actually just have those nice, like, climactic points, um, just even, like, changing, and then it just snaps to a new picture. Um, sorry, I'm terrible at actually explaining things to people. It makes sense in my head. But when I try to translate it, it just doesn't work out. But I'm um, going to have some caffeine right now. And um, this is from my protein. I have a lot of the products, well not that many, but um, uh, I got this in like August last year and I just weighed it. I know this probably weighs like 30, 40 grams at the most, but I still got, it still weighs like 98 grams and this is 100 grams of caffeine. Even though the, the serving is, uh, I think it's 500 milligrams, one little, one little baby scoop, yeah, so which is 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is a fair bit, so I usually do one. I don't actually, I barely use this though, I'm just using it now because it's like 5.30 and I'm pretty tired to be honest, I've had a long day, because I've been up since like 7, which is not that long to be honest, but you know, I've been staying up late because it's holidays. But um, anyway, Josh should be home soon, so we're going to go, I think we should do back to be honest, honestly, because uh, like without any deadlifts or anything, because I don't want to do that, and also my back is a little... Like, my lower back, I have this little tweak in it, this doing mobility before, like, when I was loosening up between my, um, maximus and medius, that one point, and you'll know it's, like, where you kind of also lie on the, um, your bone, that just hurts so much, um, I felt this, like, little pinching in my little, my lower back, and when I got up, it hurt, so I had to just, I just got the ball in there, and just loosened everything up, and then it was nothing, but, uh, I just wanted to give it a few more, like a day or so more rest at least before I do any sort of deadlifts or squats or anything again. So, just going to do back with minus the uh, deadlifts. And I only do the deadlifts on my back day because um, I know when I like, I, from experience, when I do squats and deadlifts on the same day, it just doesn't work out. But anyway, I'm going to have this now. We're actually going to have it in a little bit and get to the gym. I'm train today. Let's continue. 
this vlog in the morning. So I'm on the way to the gym right now, driving, and um, well, like, I'm only driving today because, uh, well, to be honest, I uh, dropped Josh into work with his car. I don't actually own one myself because, well, as a uni student, I don't really need one, to be honest. I mean, it'd be nice, but it's not like a necessary thing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop vlogging right now because it is some pretty busy traffic. It's right now, but um, I drive a manual, so I can't exactly just drive and just talk. Um, it's because I am actually, you know, changing gears and everything. So, it's not exactly a possibility. I'm getting looked at right now because I'm talking to a camera in a parking lot. But, I don't really care. Outside the gym now, I want a deadlift. I do. I want to make sure that I'm still getting enough of that stimulus for my whole body and everything, even training back during the cut to max this up maximize muscle and strength retention but I don't know I'm just bloody tired I don't like swearing on the channel that much yeah I'm just very tired so I don't know I'll see but I gotta get in there now and I need to foam roll and everything I've already done it at the house but it's always good just to do it again and I just gotta get a band open up my hips and if I feel like it if my Adductors and stuff are okay and my hip flexors are loose enough. I'll do sumo. If not, I'll just stick with conventional Man, Niggas is gonna get this shit right no matter what Uh Yeah uh, this year I'ma make more cheese, make more cheese And I did sauce with skateboard pee Niggas is like, what kind of style is he? Designer for all the best things in life for free I do this for my little brother life Contact, bitch, my flow be contact And this is just an entree I'ma do what the fuck I want, Waka And if they said they nicer, they some kinds They just shocker and it's cranberry vodka Hope these niggas don't disturb me And don't you touch my back If your fucking hands are dirty, I'ma earn And I got racks on racks on racks Torch, I'm gon' carry it Catch me at the Marriott The underground Harriet Probably caught the shackers And I tell them I was having it I run all up in them laps We meetin' like some track events Scoop more, you get swept Room chores, iTunes, tune chords 50 kicks on my room floor I was here with Bang K Throw us up with that name change This shit is my main bang Aim, aim, bang, bang That's wrong, son we the ones on, I fuck it, we all want She just wanna kick it, no harm done I could never stop it, I'm trending, I'ma top it She make them other bitches hard to see, microscopic Yeah, nigga, I got it so that is actually like my earliest workout so far so I've got to take into account how many carbohydrates I've consumed prior to it for obviously uh, the psychological effect of the carbohydrates entering my system making me feel better giving me more energy for the workout so yeah I don't know I'm gonna go home now since it's almost one o'clock it's time to eat some food because I do have some more to eat so let's go home am I the only one who actually puts on that seatbelt like all the time even if I'm literally gonna have to move the car like five meters like for example like on our driveway if I'm parked if we park up there but I've got to move up a little further I'll put my seatbelt on I have my most favorite pre I mean post-workout drink ever um, you probably won't even guess it. Such is the best thing for you after your workout. You ready? Water. I'm not even joking. I don't. The only thing that actually makes me feel better after a workout is water. Like I don't. 
like calories and stuff, sure, I'll feel a little better from the food, but my main thing after a workout is hydration. Not so much just all the fatigue and everything. I, I just, I deal with everything so much better if I just stay hydrated. So, make sure you're always getting water during your workout, especially before it, and always after it, because you're going to be parched. That's so much better. I literally feel like... I actually feel a lot better. I actually... <coughs> I'm more awake now than I was. When the sky is like this, does that mean that it's gonna be like a really cold night? Dude! Dude! Yeah, does it mean it's gonna be a cold night? I can't remember. I can't remember what it means when there's like those sort of things up there, like the... Strikey, streaky things. But now that I'm home, it's time to eat some food and continually reading this um, thing I got, uh, no, not got, this uh, article Eric Helms did on uh, protein consumption during uh, prolonged caloric restriction. I am currently up to chapter three right now. Physiological effects of protein modification and resistance strain males during caloric restriction at double blind study crossover. The, like it's, it's very good actually and there's a few more I want to read there's like ones about low carbohydrate diet restrictions um, intermittent fasting and the growth hormone um, release based on the um, uh, amount of time spent it, spent fasting like intermittent fasting and everything so there's a few I want to read while I have my holidays just to get a little bit more educated on things there's also one on um, alpha 2 adrenal receptors and uh, fat storage in our uh, nuclear families so yeah I got a few to read but first eat actually no first shower then eat then read guys when you're um, reading like things to like try and educate yourself a little bit more in like nutrition and fitness and everything read these okay read peer-reviewed journal articles okay make sure they're peer-reviewed and everything because you just don't want to be reading things that are wrong. And the best thing about these is they state there's going to be discrepancies in um, data collected and not to completely trust everything that they say. Because then this is one paper on something. It's not completely explaining every single thing. Like, don't go to, say, like, bodybuilding.com and then look up perhaps things in there and be like, oh, okay, that's what that means. Don't. It's not right. Some of the things might be pretty right, but you know, we don't really know everything so far with like with diets and everything completely. There's still so much we don't know, so don't just settle. Keep reading, keep getting more and more knowledge just banked up in your like into your data bank of information in your head, and keep going with it because you can never stop learning. Ah, so I said I was going to eat food, and this is it. I know it looks kind of like gross, but actually it tastes good. And basically what it is, is egg whites, protein powder, oats, and baking powder. Yeah, that's all. Obviously water as well, but you know. In the oven for like 20 minutes or so. I did eat a fair bit off there, so it, it was nice. But the issue with um, cooking, cooking things in smaller amounts is um, the depth that they cook at, like in terms of the um, average depth throughout the whole thing. Uh, you have to cook at a lower temperature so you, you don't lose too much moisture. I was worried it was going to be really dry, but it's actually still really nice and moist in the middle. So... I'm actually really going to enjoy it and read the thing that Eric Helms wrote because I'm actually really, really tired from the workout and just feel like relaxing for a little bit. just got back from the gym again because I had to go back uh, to do cardio. Also, Josh was going to train, so I just thought I'll go do cardio, do abs and do mobility even though I've already done mobility today. Ah, I've got to switch holding the camera with different hands, but um, yeah, also had to go pick up my main man, 
my uh, my just my peanut butter smooth because I have it with my oats and I don't want like little crunchy bits of peanuts in my oats. I like that smooth creamy peanut butter. But uh, once you with, with your fat still high, I recommend having it. If you're like me and you just start getting your fats in, like I've got 30 grams left. So, yeah, I need to shower because I am very sweaty. Last meal at 9.30 p.m. is, you know, 90 grams of oats, one scoop of protein, 40 grams of peanut butter, and just some green tea. I love this mug my cousins and like brought me from well, obviously where they live. <laughs> so it's got New York, London, Paris, Southfields, because they're from Southfields in London. So I, lo I love it. Well, that's the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to edit it now and get it up in about two hours or so, most likely just because from how long it takes to export. But I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.